Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and I am Subhash Chandra. Let me take this opportunity to speak few words about my course that I have launched on my website. So my website is premedaka.com. You can go and check the course tab. I have three courses. So basically, I believe in skill enhancement. See, only by enhancing your skill, you can grow your career and you can go to the good company for more salary. See, uh, if you don't have skill and uh, definitely it is very evident that you cannot uh, get into the top level. You can manage for four to five years, but beyond which, if you strongly wanted to put your graph in a strong um, uh, professional growth, actually, you need to have a strong skills, actually. So if you look at the courses, actually, these courses are made with an intent to develop a particular skill. And these skills are primary skills in piping design. So the first course is for pipe routing. This will help you to enhance the pipe routing skill. Pipe routing in the sense, uh, in piping design, pipe routing is the most important activity. Let's say if you go on for an interview and an interviewer asks you to um, uh, draw some particular routing from one equipment to an another equipment and if you do not know the considerations that are to be made. Generally, it's not possible simply to draw from one location. You have to ask a lot of questions. You have to understand the requirement. You have to understand whether this scenario is applicable, that scenario is applicable. That is what interviewer is expecting. He don't expect you to simply draw uh, a point, a line from one location to another location. Uh, he will try to understand whether you are aware about the work process. If somebody simply asks you to draw something, you, will you be simply drawing it? No, it's not like that. You have to be prepared actually. So you have to know what are the inputs required and you have to know uh, what are the conditions, whether the line is elevated, whether the equipment is elevated, whether it is on the gra grade, whether it is on the platform, so whether it is a critical equipment. So all these questions you have to ask it actually. So this course will help you to understand uh, your pipe routing uh, scenarios that are to be done for different equipments, critical equipments, non-critical equipments, pipe racks. So you will be comfortable in delivering your answers during the interview. So this course will help you to understand how you have to do pipe routing in process plan at different locations and different equipments including critical equipments. So this is about the first course. And the second course is pipe supporting. See, uh, if you have worked in uh, piping design engineering, you know that. For pipe supports actually, there are two categories of pipe supports, critical pipe supports and non-critical pipe supports. Critical pipe supports are recommended by the stress engineer. However, the type of pipe supports will not be recommended by the piping stress engineer because pipe stress engineer will do an analysis. He will tell only whether it is a rest or guide, but you have to choose whether it should be a shoe support or a U-bolt or it should be any clamp support that you have to choose it. So in order to choose the type of support with respect to the location, in order to place the support with respect to the uh, GAs and underground clashes and or any other requirements in the piping, you should know how pipe support design works. So this course will help you to understand how pipe support design works and what you have to do, what are the documents that you have to read actually, how you have to recommend the support, what type of support based on what situations. All these parameters are considered except stress analysis part because as I said this course it will give you an idea about the pipe supports for um, uh, non-critical items. Critical uh, items you will get an input from the stress analysis actually but after getting a critical uh, inputs actually you should know how to select the support uh, right. So this course will help you to understand how to select the supports at different scenarios how you have to manage basically how you can support the pipe support engineering during the development of piping design stages. So that's very important. Otherwise, you may not be able to work in the real job actually. If you go to a real job and somebody asks you to, okay, put supports in this piping and you are stuck, you do not know how to do it actually. From where to select, how you select the support, which, which are the documents, all these things you should know, know right? So these course will help you to understand how you have to choose a support, how you can support the engineering. This is about the course two. The third course is PNID. How to read the PNID like a legend actually? See. PNID reading is the most important skill. If you don't, um, if you are not in a position to read the PNID, you cannot deliver the piping design. That is to be frank, I'm telling you. Because from PNID, you can understand many things, whether a line uh, has to be routed in the grade level or whether the line has to be routed in the higher level or uh, whether the line has any critical components uh, or not. Do you have to put a loop or not? Do you have to consider any space? Do you have to consider any other um, instruments or valves? What are the space? So PNID is the one that gives you a visualization. So you have to understand the PNID 
and read in a way to understand and how the PNID evolves in different stages. Let's say if you are working in a project, you will not get 100% PNID at the beginning of the project, but still you have to proceed with the engineering design, right? How? So you should know the primary inputs to start your piping design activities. So slowly when the PNID evolves and you can correct your design actually. So you should know all this process so that you can comfortably work. So uh, like uh, being selected in an interview, it's totally different. But there are cases even after getting into a job, if you're not in a position to perform, the team will uh, terminate you. That's because that. See, most of the people are working to deliver some uh, documents uh, within the deadline. If the team is not supporting, they will bring another team who can support them actually because they cannot take that uh, cost of uh, failure of not delivering on time. Simply they will put in other resources and the resources will support to deliver. So if you wanted to retain in a job and if you wanted to uh, grow your career, you should have a strong skill actually. So these skills, I'm only focusing on these skills because I know when I started my career, there were no institutes and no source of learning. I read books. The dread, uh, reading books will give you a good understanding about the theories. But how to do the real-time job, that is totally different. How to coordinate, when to coordinate, which document to be referred. These things, most of the books will not tell you. So these things you have to read from the experts and the experienced professionals who are working in the field. So I'm trying to share my knowledge through these courses and these courses will enhance your skill. And after taking your course, if you have n number of doubts, you can always uh, ping me, you can discuss with me, I'm freely available, I'm uh, to discussion, we can sit and discuss and clarify all your doubts. That's, I'm always, uh, I don't uh, charge for any discussions, I'm openly uh, free for any type of discussion for those who have taken courses actually. So I'll give you the uh, link of the courses actually, you can go, the, go through the course and uh, please read uh, the details of the course and go through the uh, preview video of the course so that you will understand what the intent of the course is about actually and in my course I don't issue certificates because I have told in a couple of videos I don't value certificates okay I have n number of certificates which I have not produced in any interviews and nobody asked also so I'm not going to charge any extra money for the certificates so in the name of certificates there are people charging more money that I don't want to do I am only uh, sharing the subject subject knowledge to people who want to enhance the knowledge actually so please go through this course details. These courses will help you in enhancing your piping design skill. If you have any clarification of uh, payment or regarding anything, you can always uh, message me actually. You can find my contact number in the details of the course actually. So I will meet you in another fantastic video. Until then, bye from Subhash Chandra.